Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have top 8 of YCS, Dormont, and we have Eon on Ishizu, Tier Element, versus Mario A on Flounderies, and we're gonna go ahead, and it looks like Flounderies is going first, it's a huge advantage, going ahead and activating Duality, do they change, oh, they definitely have Shifter, oh, it's so good, now, do they have Engine, Alt. Oh, well, there we go, they... They for sure have engine, so they can combo. And it's not like you need to set up statue because you have shifter, like, in play. Okay, never mind. So our hand is just already playable, so we're going to take the statue. They're going to magma. <laughs> He's going to try to magma with the shifter, but they don't have a monster, so it's not a quick effect yet. Yeah, he has to wait until they have a monster. It's not like they're gonna normal summon statue though, unless if they. Oh, he has Necker Valley. Oh, just activate Necker Valley first. What? Why would you not activate Necker Valley first? That's like <clears throat> you're supposed to do that even if they don't reveal Magma Mutt. So that way you can't get hit with a Bistid, unless if. Do they have a way to do something about it, maybe? I mean, I doubt it, right? It's just Empton, Statue, Trap, you know, Necro Valley will probably just be held in hand now. Because, like, all it was there for was stopping the Bisted. And now we can just hold it in hand. Or maybe activate it so that way during their standby phase, the opponent can't try to do stuff because Necro Valley will just be up. I mean, it's game one, too, so it's not like you're going to get hit with lightning storm or you're going to get punished by back or removal. Especially when you don't need to commit because of the shifter. Okay, so Mario is not going to summon the statue. It's just not needed. It's going to get beat over. So, try to pass turn but they need to search in the end phase. I'm guessing it's just going to be for Juris Worm. Oh, that looks like Sornir. Okay, so they also play Sornir. I mean, Juris Worm doesn't do anything in this matchup. It does the same thing as Sornir, except Sornir can dump a card, like can dump a Juris Worm or Magma Mutt, so that way you can draw it less. I guess you would dump Juris Worm, maybe not Magma Mutt. Cause Maverick Mutt's still good, still gives you a body, level 6, help make Beatrice. Game 2, if they play Banshee in Zombie World, all these Bisted monsters can help Beatrice dump it to get to Zombie World, if they decide to respect the Flounderies matchup in the side deck. Alright, so, activate Instant Fusion. Okay. So pay a thousand, go summon. I wonder if there's someone's mud. No, it looks like they want to go for Kikalos. I was going to say, you could summon Mud Dragon. We could try to set up a uh, Babuska. And that can, like, stall us, you know. That'll make the shifter turn go through, and then we can try to play next turn. But gonna summon Kikalos and activate Kikalos effect. Mm, they can't really link into anything good. The shifter's gone, so they can't even like. Well, I guess they were just never dark taking that under Empen. Reading what chat's saying. Someone said, yeah, you're right, no need to statue except, you know, instant fusion, Havna summoning, Shaylin, you know, a ton of pressure, heartbeat on draw phase. Uh, yeah, I mean, some pressure can be applied, but, like, with Emp in there, it's a little bit harder. They also have the trap set. So, like, you know, that can go ahead and do something. They also revealed Apex Avion off their deck, so they could also go ahead and just summon that. Uh, get more birds in rotation. But, they definitely could have made the uh, Babuska. And Babuska would have been nice. 
They're gonna search planet. Assuming that they had a level four though. I guess maybe they could have went terraforming first for planet. And then planet try to go search a level four. Maybe the opponent just lets it go through and you can activate instant fusion for the other level four. So they're gonna grab Shale in there. Okay. I was trying to see maybe there was a way to like somehow summon Fluor in defense. But her levels aren't really matching up. We would have had to search merely and then had Orange Lighter Diviner. But they're in a Dreaming Town into Eagle. And then Eagle. Well, and then they're gonna add back, and then Eagle go search. I think this just searches Apex Avion. Yeah, just search Apex Avion. And then summon Robin, Robin effect. It's crazy how, like, you're getting an interruption, but you're also just getting your engine rolling, because you'll have your full engine rolling on your turn. Uh, I think they just grab Toucan, yeah. And then summon Toucan effect, grab back Dreaming Town. And then off the Toucan, they're going to tribute the Eagle and Toucan. Then bring out the Apex Avion. And then they're going to go Eagle effect to add itself back. Yeah, then just cut the deck, pass it over. But okay, so yeah, they got Apex Avion. They got more birds in rotation. They got the trap back to hand. So now even if they get stopped on their next turn, you know, they can play on the opponent's turn. Yeah, the I don't know what the tier player is gonna do. It seems pretty hard here. Like I don't know. I don't know what their game plan is. They added Shaylin off the Kekalos. So we know that they have that. I think I see a trap in their hand. It's probably Solik. They're going to mag them up, beat over Robin, K attack for 19, but the damage doesn't really matter. It's too early on in the game. It's not even, like, close to time. Time definitely won't go into effect this game, unless if it somehow gets to, like, a Mystic Mind grind. So, Kekalos will be tributed for a Druus Worm. All right. And then, what, well, they're going to go Shaylin effect. So, well, they can overlay those for Beatrice. That's not bad. Make Beatrice. Um, It's not necessarily good, though, because it still loses out to Apex Avion. They're thinking on the Shaylin effect. They're going to Apex Avion stop it, trying to not get hit with the Babuska. But, they'd have to have, like, another level 4 extender, because they just brought that out. So, what was the Shaylin going to do? I mean, discard one from hand, summon, but what do they do then? I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I'm not really, really not sure. Also, Justin's talking crazy in the Twitch chat right now. He's saying, like, if you summon statue, none of this would be happening. He would just went battle phase, beat over it. Like, it, it, he just went battle phase, attack a rob, and he would have attacked a statue instead. He would have got way more value. But make Beatrice, set one trap, pass turn. The Apex Avion was used. So, Beatrice is live. They can use it here to fuse... And then they can get planet effect, pop empin. The trap will be live. That's set. So they're going to dump rhino and then activate rhino effect. All right. So rhino bring itself out and discard. Discard Solik. Ooh. Okay. So now they're going to activate the effects. 
So go search, go dump. Probably grab Havnus. And then... Yeah, it looks like they grabbed the Havnus. And then they're going to dump a Merely. Alright. Uh, new chain link. Merely effect to fuse. Uh, their kit Kalos is banished. They might play two though. Decent amount of people play two. But it's really like less than half. People play two it seems like. And then... Just gonna go ahead. Go for mud. Okay, planet. Pop. Empen. Okay, okay. So, what is that set card that it's, it's probably not Solic since we did this? Might be though, might be. Oh no, why are they showing meta? Is that the set card? Maybe. <laughs> I mean, it's gotta be in someone's hand, right? If they're showing it off in the card highlight. Okay, let's see what the Flanderies player can do to this. It's really just on, like, the set card. If Havnus, but you can just chain block Havnus. Eagle 1, Robin 2. Which is why I think that if they had Solik set, they probably would have got rid of the Havnus they searched off Solik to be able to make Kaleido. And then Kaleido is, like, a good send for Solik while... Doing another thing. They're gonna go Robin 1, Tukin 2. Yeah, it looks like this is all just gonna go through. Yeah, I grab two can go search. It's, it's very scary. Flounderies, their engine, once it like is fully rolling, is nice. Couldn't tell what they grabbed there, but it's probably just Ostrich. It's the last bird that they're missing. Yep. There's so many cards in hand. Oh, yeah, they have the Metaverse in hand. Okay, so... Oh. They're going to tribute for the Mega Monarch. Yeah. Alright. Mega Monarchs, Chain Link 1, Mandatory. They're going to target the Set card. The Solik in their grave, and itself to hand. And then the Solik and Set card will go to deck, top of deck, and Mega Monarch will bounce itself to hand. Alright, so bounce, add back, just out in the Set card. Now activate Necro Valley, which we knew they had from the turn before. Which I guess was just always going to do really good. They're going to set two and pass. Yeah, they're only some of us for the Mega Monarch. Oh, they're checking how many cards they have in hand. Maybe they have seven. They need to discard one. Oh, unfortunate. Okay, well, pass turn. They're under Necro Valley now. That's not good. That's gonna read over Necker Valley. Yeah, it's uh, it's a little tough, especially because they have Dreaming Town set. You know that they have it set, and then they have another set which we know is Metaverse. So they probably have Dreaming Town, and Dreaming Town will go for. I mean, they, we know they have Dreaming Town, but Dreaming Town will probably go for maybe Empen. I mean, it's like. Yeah, Empen. They also have the Metaverse and the Mystic Mine at any time. They just want to do that instead. But probably not since they activate Necker Valley. But Ian, I, um, could also try to set up a Zeus line. Yeah, it looks like they're thinking about their plays here. Gonna go Beatrice Effect, attached to go dump. 
Pinned up a lot of different things. They are on Ishizu's. That could be what they go for. Kind of doubt it though, since milling a bunch of cards doesn't seem to do the most. Under Necker Valley, they can dump Crime, put back their Kikalos. Okay, so put back Crime. Crime effect to add back. Wait. Um. Oh, how is planet worded? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I actually gotta look at the Numeron app. Or the Numeron app. I want to see how it's worded exactly. Because I'm pretty sure they could have just put back Kekalos there. And then get planet effect to pop. And that would have been clean. Come on, connect. Oh my god. Why has this app got to be a bozo over right now? Okay, so... Yeah, look at me looking up planet. Just making sure, because this should be able to get its effect. Uh, if it's here, I want one story control or in your graveyard. Never mind. I can't be from banished. Yep, that's why I had to reread it. Unfortunate. But they made Babuska. Babuska's good. It's going to shut the opponent down somewhat, but it's not like they're playing either right now. And they still have Metaverse for mine. This card helps out a lot in the Rogue matchups. It really does. It's, I think it's definitely... It's probably worth the extra X spot just to help the, those matchups a lot. But they're going to Dreaming Town into Ostrich. And then activate Robin Effect to add back. Okay. Looks like they also activated Ostrich, and they said, oh, Necker Valley, but... Yeah, it's just... It's whatever. It's never going through there. So, just added back Robin. Are you trying to set up a Link play? Oh, okay. Okay. Unactivate Unexplored Winds. That card's good one to your head. Once you're ahead on Explored Winds, it's just insane. You're going to get so much here by using a lot of the opponent's stuff. Trying to Solik the Empen. <coughs> sure. Yeah, send Shaylin. You under Necker Valley. Who cares? Oh no, we don't get to search and have an extra normal. Oh no. They can unexplored wins, draw cards. So putting back the Mega Monarch and then Ostrich. Let's put those back to the bottom. Draw two. Ooh, I couldn't tell. Was I think that second card was Prosperity, which we can't use because we just drew. And then Empen's negated forever. I, I, I guess, like, Solik's fine, right? Like, it's going to negate it forever, but, like, it just doesn't matter that much. The Necker Valley is really harming them. And then they still have, like, Unexplored Wind, Back Row. And it's just hard for them to push through this. I don't know how many cards they even have in hand. Well, it seems like four decent amount of cards, but... Do they do anything? Uh, Bisted Monsters would also just be horrible draws. So they're going to Normal Summon Out Havness. Okay, so it's a spell set. Maybe Adventure. So Normal Summon Havness and Pass. Okay. I mean, if it's Adventure... Then that's just game. Prosperity, yeah. I did see that correctly. That's that's tough. The odds of that hitting something good is pretty high here. There we go. There we go. That's all we needed. That's all we needed. Maps okay too. That can help us push. It's definitely just adventure though. Yeah, we don't need to see the other cards. 
because that plays through Solik. So now our engine plays through Solik. We're going to be tributing multiple cards on their field, setting up a negate, pushing a lot, uh, not going for game though. It is half damage. It's fine. We have Necro Valley up too as a floodgate. Yeah, so we're going to see them admit defeat there. 25 minutes left. All right, so we're going to skip into the next game now. All right, looks like they're ready. So we're going to see Tier Element decide to go first. Will Flounderese open the shifter? Will they draw it? Come on. Hopefully they're playing 40 cards. Oh, was that first card shifter? Oh, yeah. Okay, they're going to activate planet to go search. Planet, go grab Rhino, normal Rhino, Rhino effect. Okay. Just because he didn't use it there doesn't necessarily mean he doesn't have shifter guaranteed. Pro probably doesn't have it though. Like, pretty pretty high doesn't have it. So make a Kalos and then Kalos effect. So effect to go search or dump. Maybe going ahead and grabbing a trap card. Maybe grabbing tier element scream. Uh, they could grab scream, activate it. If they already have kit that can tag out into like a merely mill 11, planet pop scream, search for a trap card anyways. Or maybe they just try to grab a trap card here. Uh, if they play three scream, they can mill one of those, try to end on both traps. So go grab crime, milling soul X fine. You get to search a monster off of it. I think I saw, I saw two Solik on their deck anyways. And Shaylin effect. Discard merely. Oh yeah, last game they had two Solik. Because they discarded one for Rhino and I'm pretty sure they set the other. But now they're going to get Solik and merely. Yep, so. They're going to search and then fuse. Sadly, they, maybe not sadly, but they did mill another Merely. So I guess they put back Merely, Shaylin, make Garua. Maybe put back another card in hand to make Mud. Kick and tag out in the Merely, search Havnas. Okay, put back those to make Garua. That's fair. And then Kikalos effect, tag out, bring out Merely from the graveyard. And then effects. So mill eight. Terra, called by Solik, Rhino, Shaylin, Mudoria, Orange Light, Diviner. Hey, that Diviner's crazy. The last mill is so nice. Because as long as they play the Fleur. They'll be able to make that easily now, while also getting stuff off of it. Can make the opponent mill 5, because why not? It also just makes us that way they have another draw that's not good, because they could draw Shifter as a 6 card, and if you put cards in their graveyard, the Shifter doesn't do anything. Because Shifter as a 6 card still does stuff, like you just activate it, and it's not bad. It's not nearly as good as like a turn 1 Shifter, but your turn 1... Not horrible. So, makes Drago. Uh, it's, yeah, it's what you make in the matchup. Rukala stops special summons. Their deck doesn't special summon. So, make Elf. Go Rua. Draw one. Elf, bring out Diviner. Diviner effect. Go dump level four. Probably Agito. Maybe. Pro uh, honestly, probably just Kelbeck. Yeah, you probably just dump Kelbeck. Depending on... I guess what they have, they're gonna dump Keldo. Okay. All right, and then Synchro and the Fleur. Okay, let's go. They do play the Fleur. So the back row, and then pass turn. All right, so they have Fleur, Dragospelia. They do have Planet. 
Uh, and they can trigger that at any time with any Shizu. Activates duality. Duality, try to look at the top three cards. Floor Negata, doesn't want them to hit like Dark Ruler, I guess. Because Dark Ruler would just trade well. Elf effect, summon back out merely, and then merely effect to mill. Agito, Kelbeck. Oh, let's go! They're definitely going to activate at least one of them. Okay, yeah, I was going to say at least one of them is getting activated. Maybe even both. Okay, yep, both. They mill Scream, Crime. Uh, all the opponent's mills are probably just going to be bad mills. Yeah, like, Toucan's just out of there for a while until Ostrich can banish it. All three adventures are gone. <sighs> all three adventures. That's like a weird hit. But it hurts. So now they can get Shailen effect. Yeah, so... Only gets, like, one thing off all those mills. It's not actually that bad for for Mario. Compared to like at least what it could have been. But make Kikalos and then activate Kikalos effect. Maybe could have also summoned it in defense to play around Lightning Storm. Like that deck actually can play Lightning Storm. So then go. Keldo banished to put back. Is this in response to Kekalos? That way they can search crime. Puts back crime, scream, and then Shaylin. Okay, and then. Why? Planet Pop Kit? Is there a reason why we really want to do this? I guess play around... Uh... You could just Planet Pop Kit on its summit, though. When you put back. If you're trying to play around, like... Uh, what's it called? Ultimate Slayer? But Ultimate Slayer can just... Oh, because they went battle. Oh, okay, that's fair. That changes it a little bit. Activate unexplored winds. Unexplored winds effect to draw. Put back Mega Monarch, Empen. Because all they did was duality before the evenly. So now they get to draw two. Do they have engine rolling? Oh my, that's a very good start. Almost every hand with terraforming in the map is a good hand. Activate map. Terraforming or map. And then use it. I don't know what they revealed, but whatever the reveal is, it's good. Manish Robin, so we know it's not Robin. It's Eagle. Oh my. Oh, they have TC Boo. Oh, TC Boo is so stupid here. It doesn't seem like Mario's going to have an out. But he can stay in the game for as long as possible. And maybe, maybe just maybe, game two, he can win in time. Or scoop now and just try to play game three normally. I mean, like, he could still win this game. He could. Okay, he is allowed to tribute set, but you can't use Eagle, right? Because you, you didn't summon a, a winged beast. Yep, has turn. Whoa. Okay. Because they could have still summoned Robin, right? Wait, oh, they just sent one pass. Oh my gosh, they're in there. They're actually just in there. Huh. 
That's funny. Activate unexplored wins to go ahead and draw. Wasn't it like the chain TC boo to Robin? So Eagle one, Robin two, TC boo three. Go search off of Eagle. Or does Eagle not let you set? So then you just use your regular set. You know, attribute the unexplored wins, but. Oh, summon Rhino. Rhino effect. Go dump Shaylin. Shaylin effect to fuse. Putting back Shaylin. And then putting back. Um. Because we don't have Kikalos in extra deck right now. Yeah, we're going to put back Shaylin and Kikalos. And Rhino. Bring out Kaleido and Defense. Nope, it is a Fiend. Rhino is a Warrior effect to put Empen back. Well, that's outed now. Had to summon it in defense, of course, otherwise it'd be negated by Empen. Right? Er. I guess let me read how Empen is worded. Empen. Because, like, it's not often that Empen gets, like, tribute set against you. Um, while this tribute summon card is in the monster zone, your opponent can activate effects. Wow. Tribute summoned. There's tribute set, though. So, they're going to activate Mystic Mine over the map. So, they saw Twin Twisters in their deck. They can, I was going to say, they can use Shizu to put back Twin Twisters. So, I'm pretty sure they milled two of them. I remember seeing, yeah, the ulties. I thought about talking about how rich he is. So, put back two Twins and then a TC Boo. Maybe you just don't put back TC Boo, just because like, you just really want twins. You already got TC Boo up. I guess drawing another TC Boo would be okay. And then passing. Activate planet to go search. Grab Shaylin. And it was just gonna pass quickly. Alright, yeah, passes. Alright, now Flounderese player has unexplored wins that they can try to draw with. Yeah, he's thinking maybe about trying to, like, actually play. Because the opponent... It's just, like, tough, though, because, like, TC Boo's there, so... He's getting floodgated, and he's floodgating the opponent. And he... He chooses when the floodgate gets turned off. But he's not going to do that until there's an out to this floodgate. Because otherwise, what are you going to do? They have probably Heartbeats, Twin Twisters. So go, oh my gosh, main phase, Heartbeats, Feather Duster. That is what he needed. Yeah, that's, wow, that's so good. I think that just... I, I guess we don't know the tier all in my hand, but I want to say that puts the Flounderies player in the advantage. Especially with the unexplored wins up. Just out stuff so quick. Summon Robin, Robin 1, Eagle 2 just can't respawn because they have 5 cards in hand. They don't have any back row. All their cards in hand are you know, monsters and stuff that, for interruptions and they're in their mind. So this just simply goes through. Wonder if they have a tribute summon in hand. They grab statue from deck and then summon eagle. Eagle effect. They're gonna chain orange light. Discard Kelbeck. Sure, you can't Kelbeck effect because Mystic Mine. He has double shifter in hand. Statue. Battle phase attacking the Rhino. Yep. Maybe just should have put that Rhino in defense. 
to play around that. Because that's like, yeah, should have put Ryan on defense. That's unfortunate. It's a misplay. Sometimes people just fumble when it comes to playing under Mystic Mine. So, normal summon Midoriya, make Babuska. Hopefully, trying to give themselves a little bit. A little bit of breathing room until they can draw Twin. They just drew Cosmic, Mario did. So, now they have an out to TC Boo again, if it comes out. Hands on Explored Winds, I can try to draw. Just normal summon statue. And then activate Eagle and Robin. So add both of those back. Unexplored Winds effect to draw. Put back Eagle. Draw into Prosperity, which can't be used this turn. And then set a back row, pass. Back row is probably just Cosmic. Cosmic can deal with a planet if they activate it or something. Standby phase, but Booska has to detach one. Gets rid of Rhino. Some back row hit on the tier player's side would be so nice. That's another reason why they could have milled one turn one when they chose not to. Just get rid of like your whole deck. And then you can just use your shuffle backs to put back like back row hate. So that way you can out mine quicker in the long run. Go ban a six. Look at the top six. They're reading over the Babuska. Okay, there we go. There's Dark Ruler. Dark Ruler outs it. Yeah, so grabbing the map. Maybe has a tribute summon already. They could just maybe. Oh, okay. Just already has dark ruler. I was gonna say I don't think you'd want to like get rid of statue. But dark ruler, then activate map. Then activate map effect. Uh, maps can reveal like Robin in hand. I think that is go banish eagle. And then summon Robin one eagle two. So grab back, which I think also means that they have Ostrich in hand. So otherwise, they would have banished that instead, right? So they already had Eagle in hand. I don't think they ever put it back with Unexplored. Oh, no. I, maybe they did. Empin 1, Robin 2. Grab back. Go search. Uh, searches for the Dreaming Town. The trap card. About 5 minutes and 20 seconds left. And then summon eagle, eagle effect, go search, and then tribute, Kaleido. Um, yeah, I guess maybe summon ostrich, yeah, I was going to say, but then you wouldn't be tributing their Kaleido most likely. I guess you do have like the trap to protect yourself, it's going to set, and then pass, they're under dark rulers so they can't do damage. They put their opponent on 4 minutes and 40 seconds to do stuff, and they have Apex Avion, which is just a negate that they can do again. They have Statue, they have Trap into Mega Monarch, they have Map, and their opponent can only Normal Summon, so they're going to go Normal Summon Shaylin, Scream Effect, they chose to not activate Map. They mill Crime, Heartbeats, TC Boo. Uh, not too sure why they chose to not activate the map effect, as I would have personally think I would do. I feel like I would do map over just activating the trap first. Because I don't even think they're, like, they're not setting the opponent's monster anyways. They're going to tribute it. Yeah, it goes ahead, admits defeat. All right, Flounderies wins there in top eight. Flounderies moving on into top four. We saw Flounderies in the finals at YCS Minnesota, but that was before the Ishizu 
Will they be powerful enough to make it to the finals this time around? They're only one win away. I have no idea who else is going to be in the top four. But I know there was a lot of good players in top cut all around. And I will be back at it with top four shortly. Peace.